don't just walk away from this. I'm not walking away. I could finish this. Each one of us is greater than the worst thing we've ever done. So we got another movie with Denzel Washington as the main star. This guy has like over 50 acting credits, which is pretty good. And my name is Brendan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Roman J. Israel Esquire. I really do appreciate it. And before we get into the review, help your boy out. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Become one of my subscribers. Also click the bell so you can be notified when I do make uploads. And also give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So now we have Roman J. Israel Esquire. And if you don't know what that means, it is a term that was uh, brought up in the UK, which means it's right above a gentleman, but right below a knight. And if you want to like look it up on Wikipedia, there's like a ton of levels of of uh, social um, justification that, you know, is listed on. And it's at the bottom, but it's right above gentleman and right below knight. And I like how, you know, that was used in the film. And I'll get to that in just a second. Um, this movie is being directed by Dan Gilroy, written and directed by Dan Gilroy. And Dan Gilroy, he also, this is his uh, second film that he's directed. And I'll just go ahead and say he did a pretty decent job. But the first film he directed was Nightcrawler, which I believe came out in 2014. And that movie did, uh, it, it didn't win an Oscar, I don't believe, but it was nominated for an Oscar for um, the writing, for the best writing department. And I will go ahead and say that, you know, I do agree with that as well, that movie movie was written quite well it was one of the best films uh, of the year to me in the you know 2014 so now we have dan gilroy's second film starring denzel washington and of course you know who denzel washington is he's won a ton of awards before been nominated left and right can play any type of role he's one of the best actors in the business today and probably continue to will be in future movies um you know heading on and when you see uh, denzel washington in a movie when he's playing a role, he's like nine times out of ten, you know, the main star, the main role in, in the film. And you're not necessarily going to go see the movie for the plot or the story. You're mostly going to go see it for the acting. And I, I'm and I won't say that in all cases. Sometimes you may be going because you want to see the story as well. But everybody knows that this guy can act his butt off. And, you know, he did the same thing in here in this movie. Um, the co-star in this movie is Colin Farrell. Um, you know, he does a great job as well. And it's for, like I just talked about, you know, like the plot and the story and how you're mostly going to go see, you know, Denzel Washington. And of course, he is the best part of this movie. Uh, he is playing a defense attorney and this movie is set in present day. And what I liked about his character, which is drives the whole film, is his character is really grounded in his roots and has true core beliefs that he believes in and won't be shaken, you know, uh, from those beliefs at all. You know, you can't throw a bunch of money at him to get him to bend at your will. He just doesn't care about that. You know, he lives an average life. You know, at one point in the film, it was talking about how he at one point he had to decide if he wanted a family or if he wanted to pursue his career and that he just knew that he couldn't do both. And I'm not an attorney, but, you know, I, I know um, I have a few a couple of friends that are attorneys and some acquaintances here and there. And what I've seen in media and movies and things like that, you know, an attorney is a very busy life and, you know, it, it takes a lot. So, you know, I can't necessarily disagree with him as far as, you know, him, you know, wanting to choose his career over his family. That's just his personal choice, you know, in the film. And, um, you know, we do get a good account of that. His role in this film, he is very peculiar, like super duper, uh, something I did find fond about him. Just and, they, and Dan Gilroy wrote this in the movie for no reason is the guy is obsessed with peanut butter sandwiches. Like if you open up his cupboard, he has like 50 jars of peanut butter, like of Jif peanut butter or whatever. And when he's eating his sandwiches, like he just, you know, tears it down, just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, flips over one side, we eat that side and like eat all the crust and then just devour it like that. And it's just kind of funny, you know, that that's just something unique about his character really didn't have to do with anything else but dan gilroy just wanted to hey I, you know this guy he likes peanut
peanut butter sandwiches. And also something else that I liked about his character is he really just doesn't care about what anybody thinks about himself. Um, he's polite for the most part. No, yeah, he is polite for all parts, but he just has no filter and he doesn't have a problem, you know, telling you what it is and how it is and just how he really feels or whatever. And in doing that, sometimes he can rub people the wrong way and they could, you know, get the wrong impression of him. But he's not doing it on purpose just to be an a-hole or whatever. That's just kind of like who he is. And so he doesn't care about what any people feel about him as far as that is concerned. But he also doesn't care about... I mean, I don't want to say that he doesn't care, but his dress and his, you know, the way, you know, the way he goes into work, he just kind of has this overly uh, large uh, suit jacket that's not, well, a coat jacket that's not really a suit. And it's not just sloppy, but it's not clean cut either. But it's just like, you know, hey, it is what it is. You know, this is what makes me comfortable. And you see what I just did with my glasses? He also does that with his glasses throughout the whole film. And it's just like these little, little nuances here and mannerisms here and there that just kind of makes his character come to life. Uh, uh, on top of the great acting just kind of what makes me like uh, his character even more and of course you know he has that giant fro that just really needs to be combed and uh, tame I mean there's nothing wrong with a fro rock your fro my brother you know but you know his is not up kept the way that it could be and that's just something you know else great about it, his character that I love that just stood out or whatever Colin Firth um, I mean Colin Farrell excuse me I spoke about him you know he did a fine job as well later on in the film you know him and denzel washington's character roman j israel do become partners in a new firm and um, you know they did a they work well together i mean I, I i do like the screen time that they had together um you know they they worked and played off each other very well as far as the plot and the story of the film there's really not necessarily a story of the film but there is a plot and, you know, uh, Roman Denzel, you know, he's been working his butt off in like 30, 36 years, you know, as a defense attorney. And he just sees a pattern or whatever. And, you know, no matter what color you are in this film, you know, he represents everybody, you know, as a defense attorney. He just feels that no one is really getting true justice and people are you know, being forced to take deals that just really aren't fair. And in the Constitution, he was just like, you know, hey, it says that everybody, you know, deserves a free and fair trial. And, you know, a lot of these attorneys and, you know, prosecutors and just this whole legal system, a lot of people will take advantage of people and just, you know, find loopholes to get over on people. And he just doesn't, you know, uh, think that that's fair. And he kind of wants to do something about it. And, you know, that is put, um, well, also, before that, you know, he works at a he does a lot of cases for free and his partner or boss, you know, has a heart attack and is not, you know. And so he he's as far as the architecture of the firm is, he is one of the, the grand pillars or whatever. And that's just kind of how the film starts off and sets it on his pace and whatnot and eventually makes him bump into uh, Colin Farrell or whatever. And so that's where the plot is. And at one point when he's with Colin Firth, he just like, like, I have a plan. I've been working on this for seven years. You know, um, I, I, I want people to have true justice and I really don't feel, you know, like they are. And that's just something that I was re got really excited about as far as the plot in the film. And, you know, when they brought that to the forefront and there's another of uh, random things that happened in the film as well that drives the film. You know, he kind of gets involved with the wrong people, you know, here and there. And I don't want to necessarily say that he has to survive, but, you know, he just has to do what he has to do to, you know, get out on top. So the plot of the film is great. The character is great. And I love the the acting by Denzel Washington. Um, you know, it was great. And I love every little thing about his character. But something that did disappoint me about the film is they didn't follow through on two strong plot lines that I thought they should follow up on. You know, the film did kind of end. I don't. Yeah, it, it, it did kind of end abruptly. You knew that the film was going to end. But when the credits hit, I was a little disappointed. And I was like, OK, crap, you know, like I wish I would have saw more. I wish they would have finished this through. You're kind of left to assume what will happen and fill in the gaps. And I'm just, I, I just I'm, I don't like that. One of the one of the plots that they didn't you know finish you know to me at least and you know you may not feel that way when you see the film and i really do recommend you see the film 
Um, because it, you know, it, it, it lit, like I just said, it, the film allows you to fill in the gaps and kind of come up with your own ending, you know, if you want. So if that's Dan Gilroy's way of, you know, giving us a happy ending, you know, it may work for you, but it didn't necessarily work for me. So I didn't feel that, uh, they kind of finished that plot of justice that he wanted to, you know, bring to fruition. And also, um, I kind of wanted to see something else play out with him getting involved with the wrong crowd necessarily. And so, um, you know, like I said, I like the plot of the film. I like the character and the acting. But the, what I did not like is to me, they didn't finish the plot. You know, um, if I were to have to rate Roman J. Israel Esquire out of a one out of ten, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. Yes, a 7.5 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Roman J. Israel Esquire or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel so you can get all the content that i have to provide you can also click the bell so you can be notified when i do make uploads and also go to my website check me out there just my opinion.net you can bookmark it i do have written reviews and i would appreciate it and also guys you can look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter all that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen and i made it very easy for you guys by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Roman J. Israel Esquire starring in Colin Farrell and Denzel Washington directed and written by Dan Gilroy. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brennan Keith Avery and that's just my opinion. Peace.